coming up on At Your Leisure. This week, Rhea and I are going to show you how you can be chicken and still escape the snow up north. I'm Brett Hermanson. We just came out of Desert Springs, Arizona. We're just seeing what we can find. We're going to try and make our way to Gunlock. We'll see you on the trail. And I'm Reese Stein, coming up the wild side of Scottsdale, Arizona. Check that out. That valley goes on forever. It is so beautiful. Don't you just well, want to explore all of it? Yes. And welcome to At Your Leisure, everybody. I'm Rhea Rossi Boot. She's way over there. She's coming around. She'll appear in just here. a second. <laughs> Come on, And guys. I'm Chad Booth, and we are out today jeeping. This is our Canyonlands Jeep adventure today. And what, if you're going to have a Canyonlands Jeep adventure, you got to have Canyonlands Jeep. That's and that right. and that would be J Jennifer and Jason Taylor, and they are going to be our tour guides today. So we're going out to a place called Chicken Corners today. Yes, we are. Okay. Are there going to be chickens out there? Yes, they're all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> My question, though, is, I mean, obviously you can tell just by looking, the scenery is spectacular, and we've climbed up out of that valley, so it's a bit of a climb. My question is, uh, how advanced do your Jeep operational skills need to be? You know, you don't need a whole lot of experience. Anybody can come out here that has a basic knowledge of a little bit driving off-road and, and how to drive will have a great time out here and have a wonderful time experiencing these trails. That's good. And it's got a lot of surprises on it. It has a ton of surprises on it. All right. Well, let's see how many we can click off in the next few minutes. down Cane Creek Road just out of Moab and it's basically a direct route to this point. We came down, went over Hurrah Pass and then came down and linked up onto a trail called Chicken Corners. And right now we're just at the base of a place called the Catacombs. It's a trail that you can take the family on that anybody can do with confidence, you know, that they're not going to get stuck or get in a situation where they're not going to be able to get out of. It's a great trail for the beginner four-wheel driver and even the advanced four-wheel driver who's just looking to see some great scenery and be in an incredible setting. You see pictures of this everywhere. You know, coffee table books, you see them on the license plate. But until you can get out here, play in it, you know, drive through it, experience it yourself, you know, have your windows down and taking in the different scents, you know, it smells from the river, you know, from the creek crossings, from the sagebrush. It's, it's an amazing area out here. It's, it's something that everybody should experience. It's a great place, it's a great, adventure that you can do on your own and still feel safe and still feel connected with the environment and with you know the surroundings. This view is incredible. It's hurrah pass and I just want to go yes! No, actually, <laughs> yes. actually Rhea was going like this hurrah hurrah we made it. <laughs> so Jason if you look at this scenery right here, this vista, that far mesa that's kind of down in between the two, how far away would you say that is? I don't know, 60 miles? I don't know. Wow. 70? You know, you guys, I've been to Moab so many times over the past 20 years, and but I've never been to Hurrah Pass, mm -hmm. and the fact that you took us up here, it's really, I'm speechless. The beauty is just beyond explanation, and you just have to be here and see it. That's part of the fun with connecting with friends like the Taylors because they show you all this really cool stuff, adventures you've never experienced before, just kind of like our travel adventure every week. What a great view we have here. We see the red cliffs. It's, you know, we're in the southwest corner of Utah. I'm Brett Hermanson. We're out here, just came out of Desert Springs, Arizona on a nice trail, sunny day, a little cold. We're about in the 40s out here. We're just seeing what we can find. We're gonna try and make our way to Gunlock. Hopefully we make it, we don't get lost. Yeah, we're 
out here on the trail, we're out by ourselves, you know, with just one machine. Um, normally it's best to be in a group, but if you're not, you know, let people know where you're at. We did let people know where we are today, and it's kind of a busy road, so if something did happen, somebody could come along and help us. You know, but always let somebody know where you're going when you're out by yourself. There is just a network of trails out here. I had never had any idea that it was like this. This is, it's really pretty cool. Some of them are a little rockier than others. We kind of got caught on some rocky ones, but, but it's been a blast so far. Here we are, we made it to Gunlock. I don't think it's necessarily a boating day, but it's nice and sunny for going on the side-by-side. -side. And this is a great area to go to. back in Desert Springs at the Eagles Landing. After a long day, we got to refill the side-by-side. -side. We come here because of the non-ethanol 91 octane gas that Eagles Landing carries, and they're the only ones that carry it. Now that we've filled up, this is the home of the Yardley Steak Burger. We're gonna go in and get us some. What a way to end the day. Nothing beats a Yardley Steak Burger after a long day on the trail. Mm-mm, good. Dagon, the sparsest populated county in Utah, is full of adventure. Seemingly endless territory, where after a few twists and turns, you can find yourself in a land that feels untouched by time. From desert to mountains and everything in between, Daggett County offers a picture-perfect experience for the modern explorer. It's what you find at the end of your adventure. Jorgensen's Power Sports is your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor adventure needs. We carry a wide variety of ATVs, UTVs, RVs, firearms, outdoor accessories, and much more. Complete with both a service and warranty department. Check us out online at www.jhsport.com or give us a call at 435-896-6408. Wondering where your next OHV adventure will take you? Outsiders Utah has your answer with downloadable GPS routes, ride times, distance, local amenities, and other details. 360 street views of the trails that let you explore before you go and more. Eliminate the guesswork and uncertainty and find a trail you'll love. Visit OutsidersUtah.com and see the trail before you ride the trail. There are a lot of small towns in Utah, and there are a lot of ATV trails, but there aren't very many that offer riding like this. Here in Hanksville, we're the home of Factory Butte. Pure adrenaline mixed with the grandeur of the West. Plus, with plenty of hotels and restaurants, you can stay and explore for days without ever needing a trailer. Hanksville, Utah, your base camp for thrills. I'm Katie Yardley. I'm Mark Yardley and welcome to our kitchen.
Today we are going to be cooking Beijing beef. So right now the first thing you want to do, you want to get your filet sliced very thin. So once we get your meat sliced for your marinade, you want to take one egg, whisk it up real quick, tablespoon of water, about a quarter table or quarter teaspoon of salt. I like a little more, but and then one tablespoon of cornstarch. Corn and then whisk that all together. Get that mixed up nice. And then add your beef to it. Once your beef is in, then you want to stir it up. Just get it, little, just get it nice and coated. Put it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes up to a full hour. So we're going to let this marinate and then we're going to get cooking. Okay, so now while our beef is marinating in the refrigerator, this is when I take advantage of the free time. I prep my veggies, so my red bell pepper and my onion. Quick question. Yeah. Why do you put the meat inside of the cornstarch and the egg? And... The, the cornstarch with the egg and the water actually helps tenderize the meat. So as you notice, I cut it against the grain because that actually helps tenderize it and keep it you know, so you can bite into it and it doesn't taste like a piece of beef jerky. Then we want to mix together our Beijing sauce. So you need a half cup water, some apple cider vinegar, soy sauce, red pepper flakes for a little heat, sugar, ketchup, some sweet chili sauce, some hoisin sauce, and some oyster sauce. We need to get our six tablespoons of cornstarch because our beef comes out of the marinade. We want to dredge it in the cornstarch and then put it in the hot wok. I just use my hands. I take all the meat and put it in with the cornstarch and then we'll want to get it all completely coated. Just kind of mix it up, get everything covered. Does that give it some crispiness? Yes, this is exactly how you get the crispiness. So, Because cool. we end up kind of doing a flash fry on it real quick with the, the peanut oil as well. And then I like to cheat a little bit. I take a little strainer there for when I'm done to kind of shake off some excess cornstarch. This is one of my favorites. I love anything with beef in it, but I, I like the hot and the spicy and the sweet. All right, once your beef is almost done, I want to add our little bit of garlic, about one tablespoon of garlic, one tablespoon of ginger. So this, the meat is almost ready. Once it's done, I'll have Mark hand me a plate. We'll take the meat out, and then we'll do the same with our veggies. And you need to cook the veggies only for about two to three minutes. Okay, once we get the veggies on the side, now we're gonna put in our sauce. Now you just wanna bring the sauce to a boil once it gets to a nice, good, hard boil. You wanna add back your beef and veggies. And then once you put those in, you'll wanna cook for about five more minutes. As it boils, it's actually gonna thicken up and this is exactly what you want it to do. All right, we'll grab our rice and then we're ready to serve it up. So if you take white rice and stick it into the refrigerator for 24 hours after you've cooked it, and then heat it up like we've done, it does not mess with your blood sugar. The white rice, without being left in the fridge and cooled off, will spike your insulin levels when you eat it and cause you to put on weight. All right, cheers, honey. Mm. Best Beijing beef I've ever had. Delicious. That is phenomenal. I really hope you Very guys. Very good. <laughs> Woo, a little cowboy kiss. I really hope you guys try this recipe at home. Absolutely delicious. And don't forget the important tip about the rice. We'll be right back with more At Your Leisure. This is what it sounds like when quality speaks for itself. The Honda Pioneer 1000 Deluxe Crew with class leading comfort for six. Tough, reliable, capable. Part of the 2023 Honda Pioneer lineup. Enough said. You've seen the pictures on social media. Now experience them for yourself in Tickaboo. On the border of Lake Powell, Tickaboo twists the adventure and takes you on rides into slot canyons and overlooks around mountains and through environments unchanged in thousands of years. It's time to unplug and recharge. Tickaboo, Utah. 
before you pack the car. Before you plan the route, make sure your vacation be the one you always dreamed of. With a pre-trip visit to Tunex. Locally owned, regionally connected. Tunex can get you on the road and keep you there. No matter where you travel in Utah. From timing belts to oil changes. Transmission service or new brakes. A towing upgrade or even a tune-up. We have the certified technicians to do the job right. There's a Tunex near you. Find it at tunex.com. Places like the San Rafael Swell are famous for a reason. Endless riding opportunities. History that reaches back millennia. Sites you never knew existed. All it needs is one central location where you can easily visit it all. That place is fair in Utah. Sleep comfortably, dine in, and ride directly from your hotel or campsite. Experience the San Rafael Swell. Experience Farron. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're the Taylor family from Canyonlands Jeep Adventures, and we're just down here at a place called the Catacombs, which is just off of the Chicken Corners Jeep Trail. So this is a fun place to come and explore. It's great for those families that have kids that can wander around and do their own little thing. The last time we were here, the kids were little, and we carried them around, so it's really fun for them to go and explore on their own this time. In fact, Chad and Rhea are somewhere hiding in some of these caverns. And so what do you guys say we go try and find them? Does that sound like fun? Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, it's dark in here. Hello, I am the Cheshire Cat. You know what's cool? There's no bats in here. That's what I really like about it. This is a place just out of Moab. We've come here one other time when our kids were little. And at that point, we were still carrying them around, so this is really fun for them. It's something that they can explore on their own, that they can be their own person, that they can go out and do their own adventure. They don't have to have mom and dad right there with them and, and things like that, but they, they can enjoy it and do their own thing. You can walk around the outside, you can go inside and see the caves and things like that, but it's an adventure, it's fun. Really, the ride out here was gorgeous, and then you get into these catacombs and you could get lost out here. Not totally lost, but just, fun lost. I'm not hiding at all. There are people everywhere looking at me. So Rhea, I think we just found the rock that Chad crawled out from under. <laughs> oh, it is. Quite the contrary. <laughs> dun da da dun dun da da dun da da dun da da dun da dun da dun <laughs> Where's the big ball? It's supposed to be chasing you. That is really cool up in there. Honey, did you go up in there, Chad? I don't think I've been that far, Jason. I'll have to come out like a snake head first and just drop down below. <laughs> Chad, go down. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, Jason, this place is amazing. And I get, oh. <laughs> go, I just found a new Northwest Passage. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Don't scare us like that, honey. <laughs> this is really cool in your own backyard. For you folks at home, if you want to find out where this is and you happen to be in Moab, Utah, and you've got a high clearance vehicle, just stop by at Canyonlands Jeep located at the Moab Adventure Center, and Jason will tell you where it is. Yep, and if you don't have the vehicle, we'll provide you with one. We'll rent you one. There you go. See? You're all set. So right now it's time for us to go to our Trailhead Adventure, which we proudly bring to you each week with the help of our sponsorship from Rocky Mountain ATV. Here it is. I'm Reese Stein. And I'm Mary Ann at your leisure in Scottsdale, Arizona. An area known as a great midwinter getaway with plenty of tennis and golf. But we're gonna show you Scottsdale's wild side. With more than 400 miles of trails, Scottsdale, Arizona ranks among the nation's top hiking destinations, and the go-to trail may just be Pinnacle Peak. Whether you choose to make the two-mile, 1,300-foot climb to the summit, or as Mary Ann and I did, the three-mile out-and-back hike, it's a favorite for locals. The access to the trails right out in the backyard for most of these people is spectacular, and their city-owned trails maintained uh, really makes a great amenity to the area. The family-friendly trail loops gently around the base of Pinnacle Peak, climbing only about 300 feet. We admire panoramic views of the surrounding desert and ancient geological wonders. 
towering saguaro cactus topped with dazzling white blossoms, Arizona state flower, line the path. These multi-armed giants can live up to 150 years and reach 50 feet high. And as a keystone species, they provide pollen, nectar, and fruit, as well as nesting and shelter habitat for hundreds of other species. The amazing Palo Verde is Arizona state tree. From the Spanish meaning green stick, it is more than just well named. The leaves are often soft yellow green, but so is the bark. Full of chlorophyll, the whole tree provides photosynthesis. The distinctive multi-stemmed ocotillo is not a cactus, but a succulent tipped with clusters of bright crimson flowers, a favorite for hummingbirds. Teddy bear choya cactus add another splash of color, but stay clear or you'll be wearing one. Pinnacle Peak Trail is a little unusual because it's signed a little more than the others. It's signed to be more of a nature trail. And so you, you, a person who is not from there can learn a lot about the flora of the area, as I did. 18 miles north of Pinnacle Peak, the Blue Wash Camp Creek Hike is an easy three mile out and back with a big reward at the turnaround. The trail closed to vehicles in 2005, it is gentle most of the way, but with a few challenges, courtesy of granite boulders littering the wash and occasional natives slithering across our path. Look out, Marianne. Lots of desert critters hang out here. The trail turns up Camp Creek, a gentle trickle that provides welcome relief for especially the locals. Horses are popular here. We even ran into a mountain biker. Thick greenery taking advantage of the year-round stream hides the entry to the climax here. Here in the middle of a hot, dry Sonoran desert, a real surprise, Camp Creek Waterfall. Beautiful destination for a hike in this country. A little surprising? It was very surprising. I expected this little teeny trickle off a dirt rock or just dirt, and there was this, this vista in front of me when I turned the corner. Camp Creek Falls is only 10 feet high, but is one of the biggest in the area, and it flows much of the year, better during spring runoff or after a rainstorm. It was a real surprise and well worth the walk. No matter how fit you think you are, the hot, dry Arizona climate with minimal shade can be deceptively brutal. Bring lots of water, snacks, and sunscreen. Restein with Marianne along the way in Scottsdale, Arizona. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. Work hard, play hard. That's how the Stedman's family has done it for over 50 years. Come jump on or into your new side-by-side, -side, ATV or dirt bike, and make your own trail with Stedman's in Tooele, your dealer for sales, service, and accessories. Looking for road bikes or e-bikes? We have those too. Go online or come in today and see the Stedman's family and check out their incredible line from only the best. Yamaha, Honda, CF Moro, Polaris, and Beta. You might think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. The day starts. You have your family by your side. The horizon is your playground. In the heart of Utah Trail Country, you find Richfield, where friendly smiles go right along with the day of OHV exploration. Find everything from the most advanced trails to mild afternoons of family riding right on our doorstep. Richfield, the heart of Utah Trail Country. When you're ready for adventure, fuel your machine with Clear 91. Fuel for performance, fuel for adventure, and fuel for the long haul. Ethanol free, 91 octane. Fill up with Clear 91. Only available at Eagle's Landing. With you for the long haul. 
Stedman's Recreation is proud to sell CF Moto. ATVs, side by sides, and motorcycles. Don't miss the CF Moto Power Fest sales event at Stedman's. Choose financing from as low as 0.99% interest or no payments for seven months on select vehicles. Or get up to $3,000 off on select off road vehicles and up to $1,250 off motorcycles. Stedman's Work Hard, Play Hard. See dealer for details. OAC. Additional terms and restrictions may apply. Excludes U Force 1000 XL. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. Chad and I are out here hanging out in the catacombs and Chicken Corners Trail out here in Grand County, and this is spectacular. We've lost the tailors. I know they're in there somewhere. I think they're planning an ambush. <laughs> the, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll have to like we'll have to get our little wooden swords and go back in. They're uh, way up in there. Yeah. Anyway, I want you to think about something. You know, in about the 30 miles we've traveled since we turned off a of main street in Moab and came up Cane Creek, think about it. We have seen hikers, we have seen mountain bikers, we have seen dirt bikers, we have seen ATV riders, we've seen jeepers, we've seen an adventure base camp and a fly-in lodge, plus some spectacular vistas. Now think what a shame it would be if that was all restricted and was only open to one group because you had so many different people able to enjoy and share their recreational experience. And I just think this is the most amazing place to live as long as we can keep access which is one of the most important resources we have to protect. So I've spoken my piece. Mm -hmm. So with that gratitude, what should we do next? I say we talk about our calendar of events. Well, with a new year and new events comes a new expo season, and it's right around the corner. First up, it's the Utah Boat Show at the Mountain America Expo Center, February 1st through the 4th. And then after that, Utah Sportsman's Vacation and RV Show, which is held Thursday, February 15th through the 18th. And then last but certainly not least is the Salt Lake Off-Road and Outdoor Expo, which is March 1st and 2nd. Get your tickets early, and we'll see you there. Now let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, the Johnsons are on cue, and they're going to show you how to get outside and have a great time as they have a fun-filled day on the ice. Finally, with New Year's and Christmas having passed, many of the fabulous light displays have left us for the season, but that doesn't mean we're in the dark. We're headed up to Park City to show you one spectacular event that brings the lights down the slopes. Well, next week's show looks great, Chad. As always. And I always say that. That's true. Because <laughs> it's true. <laughs> anyway, we usually don't end our show where we're going to be staying, but because this condo is so awesome and because Canyonland Adventures not only rents Jeeps, but they also rent con this condo. So, like, perfect day, perfect ending. Per yeah, it's, just, it's <laughs> like a package deal, you know? It's a package deal. And it, just take a look. I mean, it's really nicely appointed. Price is very reasonable. Six people can stay here, you and five of your best friends. And it's like um, under $200 on a weekend and even less expensive weekdays. And it's so conveniently located because the golf course is right here, the highway's right there, and just a couple blocks away is how you get onto all the slick rock trails. So yeah. Hell's Revenge is very close to this place. <laughs> it really is perfect. And we're actually standing right out on the deck, and the view is spectacular from where we're standing. So we hope that you've had a really good weekend. Thank you for joining us on At Your Leisure. And I just can send a little unorthodox for today, but you know, our motto has always been, remember there's adventure around every bend. But you can't see it sitting on your couch. Which is odd because that's exactly what we're gonna go do <laughs> is sit on the couch. So thank you, we'll see you next week. All right, Rhea.